Hello and welcome to ThePromom.com. Today we are going to be discussing the miracle morning and how it revolutionized my day and has dramatically changed my life. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Melissa Sykes. I am on a journey to become a professional wife and mother. And what I mean by that is I'm on a journey to treating my career as a wife and mother as just that, a career, as a professional, as something that is a dignified position in our society and not just a mom. So I am the wife of an incredible and smart, brilliant businessman and also the wife or the mother to three children under the age of four. And maybe this will sound familiar to you. I have always been a quote unquote night owl and waking up in the morning was something that I hated to do. And so I have always really enjoyed sleeping in. And so when I had children, I trained them to wake up at 8 a.m. That, that was pretty much like, I knew that I didn't want to get up at six, so I got them to wake up at 8 a.m. And I used them as my alarm clock for most of their lives. And so my day, this is what my day would start like. The kids, one of the kids would wake up, I would roll out of bed, and then I was in constant reaction mode. And the morning was just chaos. So get the kids out of bed, they're hungry, so I'm getting them fed. Then um, someone, you know, just things start happening. Somebody melts down for whatever reason, we're trying to get them dressed. Then before I know it, it's noon. I still haven't eaten, I'm not dressed, I haven't gotten anything done, just because I'm constantly reacting to everything that they had going on in their day. And I spent the entire day, I felt like putting out fires. And it was exhausting, to be honest. I just would get to the end of the day and I would wonder, like, did I even accomplish anything? Like, maybe I got some laundry done. The house is about the same shape it was when I woke up this morning. And I just felt unfulfilled. And I just felt like that there was not enough hours in the day to get everything I wanted to get done. So for example, I wanted, I make it a priority to get dressed. Well, a lot of times it was happening at like 3 p.m. So it's better than nothing, but I really didn't want to be getting dressed for the day during my kid's nap. Like I wanted the entire day to have the benefit of feeling professional and having my clothes on and just feel like I could accomplish things. I also wanted to make it a priority to work out, but what I was finding is if I worked out, I wouldn't get dressed all day. Or if I got dressed, I didn't have time to work out. And I also found that I could either keep my house really clean and I felt like I wasn't spending any quality time with my kids or my house would be a disaster and my kids and I spent tons of time together making memories, but we just had to like wade through the clutter and the chaos. And I just knew there had to be a better way to manage my day, that it shouldn't feel like all day long I was in stress mode that all day long I was reacting, all day long I was putting out fires, and I knew that there were moms out there who looked put together, who had time to work out, whose house wasn't a mess, and they still were creating memories with their kids. So I couldn't help but wonder, like, how is this happening? So I really was praying for a solution, and at the beginning of this year, in January, I was introduced to the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And so I read it, and the premise of the book is amazing. It is these six rituals that you do first thing in the morning, and generally you wake up bef before your kids. Well, actually, you definitely have to wake up before your kids. But you wake up before your kids, and it's not just like a little bit. It's hours early before, earlier before your kids to accomplish these six things. So when I read it, I was really excited because these six things, let me tell you about them first. So the first is you start your morning in silence. Like you wake up early, you start in silence or prayer. So that just helps you to gather your thoughts. And then you, re, you do affirmations, telling yourself of who you are and giving, building yourself with truth. Like for me, I had to remind myself, I am humble. I am a good mother. I am a good wife. Um, and I could do a whole video just on the power of affirmations. So maybe I will. Uh, but just filling myself with truth about myself so that I do not have negative thought patterns that spun out of control. 
because I've lived that life. And so just starting my morning right away in affirmations and truth, it's awesome. And then visualizing how you want your day to go, exercising, reading personal growth of some sort, and then journaling. So ideally, he says that you should wake up an hour earlier so you have 10 minutes for each of these tasks, each of these rituals. And But if you only have time for one minute of each of them, that's six minutes, that's better than nothing. And if you have time and you wake up two hours early, you could do 20 minutes of each. So I read the book and I was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna try this. And then for like a month, a month and a half, I just couldn't do it. I, every morning I'd set my alarm and every morning I'd snooze. And so every morning I was still waking up reacting. And finally, I figured out how to make this happen. And let me just tell you, once I decided and committed to getting up before my kids and doing these six rituals, my day is totally different. So when you start your day, first of all, in prayer. For me, if I don't start in prayer, it's very likely that I'm not going to get any Bible time in. I'm not going to get time with my father, which is very, very important to me. And I'm not going to get that important time because other things just keep happening and it keeps getting put on the back burner. And that's the thing with life. The things that are the most important are usually the most quiet. So God is never going to demand our attention, but it is very important that we spend time with him. And if we don't, our lives start to spiral out of control. And then we realize it's because we haven't had insight with our creator. And if you are not like a Bible person, you know, if you just want to sit in quiet silence and send positive vibes into the universe, same thing. Um, it's just important that whatever you believe that you are getting that quiet time to, you know, spend it with your, your, whoever your God is or the universe or whatever, and get those positive feelings out there and get direction for your day. So then, um, having doing affirmations every day that started changing the way my thoughts were like instead of having one little slip up and thinking oh i'm such a terrible mom and then it building and compounding on itself and then going into this negative spiral i started my day in truth so i have i'm building up on it and looking for all the things that i'm doing well visualization has been crazy because for a long time as a mom i think we sometimes lack vision we don't know what we want with our family. We don't know what we want for our kids. We don't know like what the long-term goal is. We just get so stuck in the day-to-day -day that we just don't progress. And so we forget, we lose, honestly, we lose joy because we just feel like there's nothing more to life than changing diapers, than dealing with tantrums, than just some of the mundane things that we do every day. So the visualization has been very powerful because it not only helps me visualize being a patient parent today and being the kind of mom I want to be today, but it also helps me visualize of the kind of future I want and what I want my family to look like 20 years from now and the relationships that I want to have them to have with my kids 20 years from now. Um, exercise. This is important. It's important to, for getting your brain going. It's important for helping you just feel good, to have energy to chase your kids. And if I don't do it before my kids wake up, it's very challenging for me to get it done. So getting this done, reading my personal growth, and I like to do the personal growth. A lot of times I'll listen to it while I do my hair and makeup, and then I'll journal before. And you don't have to do these things in this order. There's an entire book on this. So I highly recommend that you go and you get the Miracle Morning so you can see like all the variations and what it's done and just see all the ins and outs of doing the miracle morning. But by doing these six things, I start my day with goals. I start my day with feeling good about myself. I start my day with a good connection with God. I start my day just with personal growth. And so that's compounding on itself every single day. Like I am learning new skills every single day for not only parenting, but for other areas of my life, for spiritual, for my finances, for my marriage. And so doing 10, 20 minutes a day. And a lot of times if I'm doing my hair and makeup and shower and listening to personal growth that whole entire time, I might get an hour. 
seven hours a week. That's seven times four, 28, 38, 30, 28 to 30 hours a month of personal growth content that I'm getting. And so, yes, it helps on the day-to-day, -day, so it helped revolutionize my day, but I can see that over time, having this personal growth, having this connection with the God, having this time where I'm not reacting, that I'm feeling proactive about my day is changing my entire life. It's changing my mindset. It's giving me bigger vision for what I want my life to look like. And I'm no longer just the reactive mom because I've been able to visualize. I wake up already, my, when my kids wake up, I'm already dressed and I've already accomplished so much. And so I feel already very, very accomplished by, by the time my kids wake up. By 8 a.m., I feel like I can almost do nothing today and I'm happy with what I've, what I've already accomplished today. But that's not where it stops because I, now I have more vision for my day. I get it done even more. So I've gotten all these important things done before my kids ever get up. And now I have time to, it doesn't feel stressful when I'm putting out the fires that they have. Like I feel already mentally prepared and I can, don't, instead of reacting, I can be so much more proactive. I can respond so much better. And then I also feel like that I have more time to spend time with my kids because I'm not trying to figure out where I'm going to fit the workout in. I'm not gonna, trying to figure out like, how am I going to get my Bible time in? Like, it's already done. And I've already planned out my day so that I, I'm very familiar with how I want my day to go. So it's just radically changed my day by giving me more of a sense of peace, by allowing me to know exactly when I'm going to spend quality time with my children, where they have my undivided attention, and where in my day I'm going to get the cleaning done that needs to be done. And it's just made me very intentional with how I spend my time, simply by waking up before my kids. Now, here's the thing. My big excuse was always, I am a night person. I cannot wake up that early. So let me give you a few tips. The book gives you a ton of tips of how to change into a morning person. So first I made the excuse for a really long time that I just was not a morning person. And then I felt the Holy Spirit convict me that I was designed to be a morning person. We were all designed to be morning people because before there was electric, before that we were able to be distracted with iPads and social media and television, everyone went to sleep when the sun went down shortly after because there's nothing else to do. And so we were designed to be in bed early. So I had to change my mindset. I set a few alarms. One that said, it's almost time to start getting ready for bed. One that said, it's time to get ready for bed. And one that said, it's time to be in bed. And so I would be in bed by 10 o'clock. And when I have those alarms go off, I do an awesome job of going to bed early. And that sets up my entire next day. And then I also gradually started moving. Like I didn't go from waking up at eight to waking up at five. That doesn't work so well. So at first it was like, set my alarm for 7.30 and then seven and I gradually moved it back. And I have to admit, you guys, um, I am not perfect at this. Like I am still, this is a habit that I am still working on. I have had the habit of sleeping as late as possible for a very long time. So I am still not perfect at getting up long before my kids and being ready. But it is something that I've noticed when I do it, my day is dramatically different than the days that I wake up when my kids wake up. That I wake up in reaction mode instead of being proactive. And so it honestly, it is so worth it to go to bed early and to get that quiet time. Because honestly, the reason I've always stayed up late was because I loved that quiet time to myself after the kids were asleep. But now I've just changed it. I get it before the kids go to bed or before they even wake up. And so now I start my day feeling refreshed and energized and invigorated instead of trying to catch up after feeling exhausted all day from being constantly reactive and stressed out. So it's just the best way to honestly start my day. So let me make sure that I talked about um, 
Yes, so The Miracle Morning, you can get the book. I got mine on Amazon, I think I put it on the Kindle. It's incredibly inexpensive. I'll also post a link, there's a YouTube video with Hal Elrod, the author, that he talks a lot about his story. It's really incredible. And just how The Miracle Morning, like there are testimonials, like crazy of how it's transformed people's lives. Many of these people are business people. Most of them are not stay-at-home moms. But I have found even as a stay-at-home mother, this, we need goals, we need vision. We need to know that there is something bigger at the end of the next 18 years than just changing diapers. Like we have to remember like what we're doing this for. And if we just get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, it's really easy to forget. So I cannot say enough amazing things about The Miracle Morning and how it has just really made my life more peaceful, more intentional, and more enjoyable. So thank you so much for this, for letting me share this with you. If this has blessed you in any way, I would love for you to like this video, leave me a comment, let me know how this has really blessed you. And of course, if, if you know someone who could really benefit from this, share. And even if you don't, you never know who's really struggling with their mornings or if, if, with their life. Because whether they're a mom or not, everyone needs vision. Everyone needs to be inspired. Everyone wants to conquer what they're doing. So the Miracle Morning has transformed lives from everyone from business executives to moms to people in middle management, people all of all walks of life, college students, everyone has benefit, have benefited from the Miracle Morning. So share this and let people know that there is a way to start your day that can help you just explode in all of your goals.